Hey, this is uh, Josh with Grimco Tech Support. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a, a, a quick run over on quick sets in Onyx. Um, so quick sets are, are presets or, or automation for Onyx. So if we look here at the, the, the main rip queue, if we come up here and look at edit quick sets, uh, and you see here I've got two printers. Uh, one just has a single default quick set. Um, and then my Epson S40 600 has a couple other extra quick sets here. So if we can, if we go to edit quick sets, we can view existing quick sets. We can't create new ones here. We're gonna create new ones from configure printer. Uh, but we can take a look at the ones I've got already. So I've got one called print and cut, another one called rotate 90. And as you can guess, if I edit that, um, you'll come in here and you'll see that it's set to rotate, automatically rotate any image 90 degrees. So if I choose this quick set or I save into this quick sets hot folder, um, that image will open up into Onyx automatically rotated 90 degrees with basically every, all these settings applied to it. So it's going to open up with the current median page size. Uh, so basically what's selected over here. So it's going to open up with Brightline Wrapcast and a 54 inch roll page size. And it's going to use by default the eight pass high quality quick set. Um, all these other settings will be automatically applied. These are mostly just default settings that come standard in Onyx, except for the, the Rotate 90. Um, there's also some advanced quick set options. So just about anything you can do in Job Editor, um, you can automate in a quick set. Um, so you could get pretty advanced if you wanted to. Okay, so that's, that's how to modify an existing one. Uh, let's take a look at creating a new one from scratch. So if we come into Configure Printer this time, and again, you're getting a little warning here that says the server will shut down. So we don't want to do this while we're in the middle of a print or in the middle of ripping a, a job. But right now we're okay. So we'll hit yes. And the very first option under Configure Printer is Quick Set. So I can make a new Quick Set or I can edit Quick Sets or I can even import Quick Sets from an, another version that I've exported or something like that. So we'll hit new here. And let's make up a Quick Set. So let's maybe do um, a quick set that automatically rips the material for um, rad graphics. So we'll call this one rad graphics. And instead of getting the medium page size from the printer, we'll go ahead and choose Brightline Media Group. And we'll choose the rad V wall graphic. And we'll go with our eight pass kind of standard print mode there. Um, and any other automation we might want to do to it. Um, that's probably it for your standard rad graphics um, uh, quick set. Um, but if you wanted to rotate 90 or auto automatically have it do three copies up or something like that, anything you can imagine you could set up in your quick set. So we'll, we'll create that. And maybe we would not want another one called rad graphics, um, but it's going to be set up for print and cut. So we can make a copy of that rad graphics one. So we have got one here that's called rad graphics dash two and we'll edit it. Instead of calling it dash two, we'll call it print and cut. And the only difference here is we're selecting a cutter out of our cutter list. So we'll choose the uh, um, SUMA S class cutter and this will tell it to put SUMA registration marks or SUMA barcode in there for print and cut. Um, cool, so that's it. So all you have to do for that one. It automatically sees the cut contour prefix. Uh, we looked at the spot colors for cut contour in a previous video. Um, so that's the prefix for cut contour. Um, some people like to come in here and add their own and that's fine. You could create one that's called pen or crease. And this is usually for um, like if you've got a, a flatbed router or a flatbed cutter type of deal where it's got multiple tools, um, this will add these different spot colors um, to it. Um, I prefer, if I'm going to do that, I'll just leave it called, I, I don't need all these other spot colors added in there. And I'll just use the cut contour prefix. Um, and I'd call it cut contour crease and cut contour pen or whatever. Um, and it's going to see that prefix. And I don't have to come in here and remember to re-add those if I reinstall Onyx or something like that. Okay, so cool. That's it. Um, we've got our Rad Graphics Print and Cut Quick Set. Like I said, you can pretty much automate anything 
you can think of. So if you uh, want to have some special color management, you can actually automate a quick set to apply a uh, color management profile or uh, filter from job editor to every job that comes in with that quick set. So any, it's really limited to your imagination as far as quick sets go. So one last thing on quick sets. So every time I create a new quick set, it's creating a new hot folder in the Onyx directory. So in this case, it's going to be in the C drive, Thrive 19, input. And for the ones we've been messing with so far, it's been on the Epson S40 printer. And you can see a folder for each one of those quick sets that I created. Um, I may need to do some additional sharing. So I can go into properties and go to sharing and share this folder. I'm going to share it for everyone. Um, leave it read, write and share this out. Uh, well, it's not letting me share on my computer, but um, probably don't want it shared anyway. So we want to make sure that we have full control for everyone. And my IT may not let me share that, but there we go. Now it's shared out. Um, so I could access this folder from a network location and save folders or, or save images into one of these folders. And it's going to automatically populate, open up on, or open up in Onyx and rip with those uh, quick set settings. Um, you can even set it if you wanted to, to automatically print. So you could drop a job into the queue, into your RIP computer's input profile, um, or I'm sorry, input folder um, for the, the quick set. It'll open up, RIP the job, and if it's configured to send the job, it'll actually start printing that job. Um, so that's quick sets. Um, hopefully that uh, explains or helps out with quick sets. Thanks.